This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from KG.com and here we have three Galaxy S8 before us and one is in Midnight Black, Arctic Silver, and Orchid Grey. We're supposed to have two more colors. Well, they, you guys are supposed to have two more colors, Coral Blue and Maple Gold. But depending on the reasons, you might not be able to get all of the colors. One example, South Korea is not getting Maple Gold. Anyway, let's get started by opening up the Orchid Grey one since that is a very new color and, well, at least for Samsung Galaxy S series. And that looked the best when I had my brief hands-on session. So here we go with the Galaxy S8. We're gonna put it right there. And before we get into the packaging, let's take out all the other colors and let's get to the packaging. So before we get on, we're going to peel that off since you guys are gonna leave some comments if I don't. And let's get into the package. So there is a little frame that sets the phone uh, in place and here is a little packet with the manual and the most importantly sim card ejection pin sim card tray ejection pin and a bunch of manuals there we're gonna skip that for now and finally samsung has matched up the colors of the accessories included in the package to the, that of the colors talking about the colors all different colors of the galaxy s8 and the s8 pluses are going to have the same black front panel samsung hasn't disclosed the reason why but we strongly suspect that it's because of all the sensors busy on top there. Anyway, getting back to the packaging, here's the charger. That's not exactly like a super fast charger. It's just a good old Samsung adaptive fast charging, 5 volts 2A, 9 volts 1.67A. Either one of them is going to be charging your Galaxy. And here's a little adapter from USB type A to USB type C. So if you want to transfer your data from your old phones or you want to connect to the USB flash drive or mouse keyboard, then you can use that one. And micro USB to USB type C, if you want to use old cables that you already had for past decade of the micro USB reign, then you can use that. And here is a USB type C cable, obviously, USB type C port. And here is a new inclusion in the packaging. It's an AKG pair of earphones and that's what it looks like. So that's the AKG dual driver earphone, probably result of recent acquisition of Harman and that's the packaging. So the Galaxy S8, they look exactly the same by the front as I mentioned, but by the rear, you can see quite a difference by the colors. Black, Orchid Grey, and Arctic Silver. If you're wondering what Coral Blue looks like, or if you want to do a little size comparison, here is the Coral Blue Galaxy S8 Plus compared to the Arctic Silver Galaxy S8. They don't differ that much as a dimension, but 5.8 inches and 6.2 inches, the S8 Plus definitely is one of the bigger phones available around there. So that's how it looks like. And we unfortunately don't have the Maple Gold, but here is the old Galaxy S7 for your comparison. That's how it looks like. If you want to pick on a phone of the same size, here's the Galaxy S7 Edge. You can see the screen size differences despite the almost same dimensions. Okay, now that we're done comparing all the sizes and the colors, let's get you into more details. 5.8 inches of a QHD Plus panel right there, rounded corners around there. Iris scanner, eight megapixels of the camera that is autofocus enabled. Speaker right there and no button there because all the buttons are built in as a soft key. Moving on to the right side gives you the power key and top we got the micro SD card and the SIM card tray, secondary microphone for noise cancellation, volume rocker and the dedicated Bixby key. That's your newly available AI assistant. And there's a USB type C port. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is still live there, luckily. And there's a speaker along with the microphone. Moving on to the back gives us the 12 megapixel dual pixel camera. That's almost the same hardware as the last year's, but allegedly better in quality. And there's the sensors and the LED flash. And this is a fingerprint reader. So they wanted to do the under glass fingerprint reading apparently, and they were running out of time. So they have to choose a place to put it and unfortunately that happens to be right next to the camera so i suspect it's going to be very very easy to smudge up the camera with the fingerprint okay it sounds like it booted up so let's get into the settings okay we're done with the settings and we are here at the launcher samsung doesn't call it the touch widget anymore but rather calls it the samsung experience it's at the version 8.1 running on top of the android 7.0 nougat so that is the home screen and you can swipe up or down to bring up the app launcher in which you can give it a dedicated app drawer button as well. So show apps icon and it's going to show the apps icon or if you are more of a person to prefer the iOS style launcher that lines up all the icons on the home screen without the app drawer, 
then you can surely do that, although that is hardly my preference. As I have mentioned, hardware keys are replaced by soft key first time in the Samsung flagships, I guess, and those are very, pretty much highly customizable. You can change the colors, you can choose your own color on this color wheel, and you can even change the direction, the order of the keys. That is the first time ever I've ever seen anything like this on a Samsung, and this is definitely a welcome feature. And another thing, now you don't have the home key, you cannot wake your phone without having to press the power key on the side. Not really, there is soft key home button always displayed on the always on display so you can hard press it. This is pressure sensitive display so it works as a virtual button, literally a virtual button that you can press. Other specs with this one include the Snapdragon 835 or Exynos 8895 depending on the reason, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, expandable, 3000 mAh of battery, fast charging, wireless fast charging, and IP68 water and dust resistance. The display itself is also HDR10 enabled and ultra dynamic range enabled as well. And you can plug it into desktop and use your mouse and keyboard to use it almost as if it's a desktop PC. There's just too many things to cover. I'm not really sure how I'm going to manage all that in my review, which should be coming very soon. I'll try my best to pack everything inside a compact review. Till then, you can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we will see you guys later. That was a smaller Galaxy S8. Ciao.